What's going on guys? So just making a little bit of a different type of a video tonight. I, I told myself before this playoff, this NHL playoff started that I wasn't going to cover it. I covered it a little bit last year, but very inconsistently. But after tonight, after game five, after you know, looking abysmal for two games and seemingly giving two games away, and then you know, finding out Austin Matthews sick and we're not going to have him for game five, it really looked like, you know what, the Bruins are going to just put this team away in five. And I'll be honest with you, and I, this is, is not good for me to admit, but I was almost kind of hoping that it was over tonight. But then the Leafs come up and play well, all game. Very, very tight game. Pretty, I, I mean, the Leafs outshot them again, which is, I think, the second or third time in the series they've done it. Uh, they did get out hit significantly, but not enough to where they were getting bullied. Joseph Wall, by the way, who I think should have probably started the, this series showed again why he is our best goalie. That being said, the reason I wanted, I almost wanted them to lose was because it's just, it feels so much more painful for this team to win game five, win game six, and then we got to go through this whole heartbreak game seven loss in Boston against the Bruins again, because that's what it always feels like. This year though, it really felt like it was going to be over tonight and that the Leafs were just down and out. Nylander just coming back from an injury. Marner doesn't look right. Tavares get kicked out of the face-off circle all the time, not really doing a whole lot. And then, of course, Matthews being six. It just it really looked like tonight was it. And I know this whole the Leafs are resilient thing isn't cute anymore because it's not. It can actually be frustrating at a time because at times because they always seem to give you hope that they win enough to give you hope that they're going to win, and then it's a game seven flop. And it's just, it's so frustrating. But winning a game like this, in Boston, in overtime, with a great performance by Justin Wool, uh, Joseph Wool, Marner, I thought, played awesome. I thought John Tavares showed up when at a time he needed to. Uh, William Nylander, you know, he just kind of had a basic game. He just came back off of injury. And then Matthew Nyes with the overtime winner. I mean, what a great goal for that young kid, too. It's only his second year, or his first full year in the league. And to score a clutch goal like that to keep your team alive in a very hostile situation. And every single one of us fans and everyone in the media thought it was over tonight. And to have this kind of a resilience without your best player, it feels like the Leafs are doing this to me again. You know, they're, they're giving me hope to eventually break my heart in the first round. However, that win kind of feels... Different. I don't know if you can turn the whole series, uh, momentum of a series, with one game, but if you can, that's the time. That's the type of game that we that you can do it because, you know, Austin Matthews presumably. I mean, he's been sick for a while, but hopefully he can be back on Thursday in Toronto. I think he will be. And with Joseph Wall playing as well as he is, you see Brad Marchand getting a bit frustrated too, like in the third period. You can kind of feel like a little bit of momentum was coming back into the Leafs' way, and it was just. Crazy to watch. I mean, I don't I don't know what to think. It's hard not to be happy when you see your team win an overtime game, especially against a rival. It just still feels like they're not going to win this series. However, the momentum has started to shift a little bit. And unless that momentum shifts back, who knows? Boston also lost last year in the playoffs in the first round when they were up 3-1 against Florida. Lost game five at home in overtime. Lost game six on the road, and then lost game seven at home again in overtime. I don't think it's going to go exactly that way. The Leafs winning two overtime games in three games, both those games being in Boston, seems very unlikely. But you got to think that that's starting to creep up into Boston's mind a little bit because they had a chance to finish it off tonight at home, and they failed to do it. And here I am getting my hopes up again, only probably to be hurt in just a few days, but hey. I can't help it. It feels good when you win. Um, I know I don't. Again, I don't usually cover sports on this channel, but I just, you know, I kind of have to when when you when you're feeling this good. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Did you watch the game? Are you into sports? Do you think I should cover the Leafs more? If you do, I'll definitely have a look at it. I, what I did last year, I, it's just it wasn't pushing out any views because this is more of a political channel, so the algorithm doesn't really push out side subjects too much until you have a bigger following but if you guys want it i'll definitely deliver it so let me know what you think in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe 
Thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back shortly.